Welcome to Tech Presence with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how you can copy SQL database that's on Azure to the on-premises SQL server. So there could be multiple scenarios where you have decided to have your SQL database on Azure and due to billing or maybe connectivity or maybe just for the testing purpose, you want to bring that database to the on-premises SQL server. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here's my on-premises SQL server that I have installed on my laptop. Now this is uh, where uh, I have this Azure database uh, that I would like to bring down to the on-premises. Uh, so if I will go to the uh, SQL Server here and uh, that's the logical container there that could have multiple databases. Uh, so I'm going to go to the SQL databases and uh, there is a one database called the on-premises uh, TB. Now we can connect to this database and take a look what uh, it has uh, like different tables and all that. So I'm on-prem TB and here is my C, uh, server name. So I can copy this server name and go to SSMS uh, and open it. Now from my local SSMS uh, I can connect to the Azure uh, database there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that there. Okay, provide the SQL authentication. That's the username and password I use on my Azure. So I'm connecting to the Azure SQL database so I can take a look by using my SSMS. Here is connecting and you can see there is a difference right here in on-premises SQL server you see there's a green arrow and on this one you see the blue icon right here. So this is our Azure SQL databases. Here I have on-prem TB and this has only one table. So I'm gonna go to the tables here and take a look. So the total sale is the only table I have. There are very few records. I would like to bring this on-prem TB to our on-premises SQL server. So let's go back to our portal and here what we can do, we can export. So first of all, we have to export this database to the storage and then download that .bsc psc file and then finally we will restore on our on-prem SQL server. Let's do that. So to export, I need a storage. So I have uh, other, other accounts for storage that I already have created. We can go ahead and create a new one, so called storage account. So you're gonna go there and then you're gonna hit uh, create and this is gonna ask you what name you would like to give to the storage. So you're gonna select your subscription, you're gonna go ahead and uh, select your resource group and then uh, in this case, uh, I selected TB storage one or two, let's do two. Okay, now we will create this one and hit create. Depending on uh, some of the time, like it is, a, it creates real fast and sometimes it takes a little time to create it. So it's uh, deploying right now and, uh, you know, we are still waiting. What we are going to do, we once uh, the storage is ready, we are going to create a container inside. The container is a folder. Uh, that's where we will save the backup of our database. So I'm going to wait for that one. Meanwhile, uh, what I will do, uh, the, as this is uh, in progress, I will take you and uh, show you the SQL databases. So if you go to the SQL server here, uh, you, what you're going to do, you're going to see the SQL databases here and uh, you can click on one of the database. If you want to query this uh, database, you can always open a uh, query editor here. So once you open that, it asks you your username and password. So we provide that information and uh, then uh, we can uh, query uh, right here. Some, uh, just, uh, some people are not familiar with the, uh, a lot of information on tabs or all that, so I will keep uh, kind of, you know, it helps, um, it was helpful for me. So this is the same database that we need to uh, take from uh, Azure to the on-premises. So you see that the total sale, uh, you know, that's what uh, we are going to take. So the t name of the database is uh, on-prem TB. Right, so our uh, storage is ready. So it says, uh, okay, deployment completed. Let's go to resource and it's called TB storage 2. All right, now we are going to go ahead and look on the containers here. And that there is already a dollar sign logs uh, uh, that container is there that has the log for this uh, storage. So we are not going to care about that part. We are going to create a new container and I'm going to call this one a backup. Okay. Now we create this uh, container, all good. We are gonna go to the SQL again. So we are here in the SQL server. We click here, we are gonna go to uh, databases because uh, we need to export the database. Uh, so click on databases uh, and here is the database. So we are gonna click here and it, it give us option to export. So I'm gonna export 
it's going to ask you, ask me uh, what name you would like to give to this export and i'm fine with on prem tv and the this stamp stamp with it uh, select the subscription and here it asks me the storage now there are multiple storage accounts i have created and this is the one we just created so we are going to use the tb storage 2 and we are going to use the container or folder called backup so all good here and then it asks you username and password so you provide that and that's your sql server username and password that you have need to log in okay so the request is submitted to export the database so if you see there if you want to take a look like what is the progress on this one you are going to go to the uh, sql servers tech versus it import export uh, history for the progress so as we are in the database uh, pan or window right now there is no import export history here so you have to go one level up you're going to go to the sql server level uh, here so SQL, where it says the sql server that's your logical container for the, your databases and here are the databases so that's where you're going to see this uh, import export history under the data management so click on that one and uh, we can see right there is the uh, one percent it might uh, take a little bit of time to uh, just uh, create dot bsc psc file uh, and once uh, that's done we are going to come back uh, and our next steps are download that file and then restore to our on-premises uh, sql server so that's what we are going to do okay so finally this is completed and we can see that uh, that's the completed uh, and uh, that's the timestamp it has so now what we can do we can go back to our storage and take a look that's our storage account and uh, here uh, i can go to containers and take a look uh, here is the backup folder and that's where our dot bsc psc file is ready so what we are going to do we are going to select this file you can have multiple files here so you're going to select the one uh, that you need and then uh, you're going to go to the three dots at the corner and then uh, download so it's going to download this file to the our uh, local download folder so it says download completed. I'm going to click on that uh, folder and that's where this file is uh, saved on my local computer. Now I can copy this path and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my SSMS uh, and here uh, I'm connected to my on-premises uh, SQL server. Uh, what I will do, I will uh, right click on the databases uh, and then I will say import data tier application. And uh, once I click there, it asks me, hey, where's your backpack file? So I'm going to navigate to that file and uh, here is the uh, import from local disk so you have two options you can import from uh, windows azure uh, from the uh, storage account directly or from the local so as we have already downloaded so what we are going to do we are going to use that one and uh, i will show you this one in just a few seconds as well so we browse to it and uh, that's where our fi uh, latest file and i'm going to hit ok now we are going to hit uh, next and it's uh, telling us that uh, you are connected to this SQL server. That's our on-premises SQL server. Hey, what name you would like to give to the database? Uh, I'm going to call this one Tech Brothers uh, IT uh, Restored from Azure. Okay, so that's the name I gave. Now you can select the path for your data file and log file for this database. So. Uh, in my case, I'm fine with C drive, wherever it is doing it. But in your case, you might have a different path uh, for your data drive and uh, your logical uh, file paths for database. So you're going to hit next and uh, then you're going to finish. So it might take a little bit of time, um, depending on the size of the .bsc, .psc file that you have uh, exported from your uh, Azure SQL server or Azure uh, da SQL database. So here it's all done. Now, now our restore is completed and we can take a look on the tables. Here is my table and it's called total sale. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look. It is returning me all the rows. Second part, if you remember that we can directly restore our uh, database uh, from the storage to the on-premises. So what we are gonna do, we are not gonna download that .bsc, .psc file. Uh, instead of that, we are gonna point our SQL server uh, restore directly to the storage. So we are gonna go ahead here and we are gonna say, import data to your application. And uh, it is asking, where is your .bsc, .psc file? So I'm gonna navigate to the our Azure storage. So here, if you remember that, uh, that's where our storage is. So we are in storage two. And here we have a backup folder and uh, that's where our backup file is there. So I'm gonna navigate and say, okay, connect to the storage. 
So it's going to ask my uh, my username and password, and I'm going to provide that information, and uh, then uh, it shows my subscription here, and now it is uh, telling me which storage accounts I have. I have three storage accounts, uh, and then uh, finally I will select the container. So hit next, uh, and uh, now it uh, tells you like which file you want to uh, restore. So this is the file uh, I have. I have only one file, so this is it. Next. Uh, uh, but we will do it ask you the database name so I'm gonna call it TB uh, restore directly from storage okay and uh, you can uh, provide uh, the path for your data file and log file if it is different from the path is shown you right here and that's where your uh, actual uh, SQL server on premises uh, so go ahead and restore now it is uh, restoring your uh, database directly from the azure storage where we have created dot bsc psc file by using export option of that database so this is how you will bring your sql database that's on azure to the on premises so let's go ahead and take a look on this one this should have the same table because the restore copy or dot bsc psc file is the same used to restore both of these databases so all right thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys in next video please subscribe my channel if you guys like my effort